Sorry, Bill. And that shows that God is more than, than one. All right, so he's one in God, fact, in fact, there is in fact, more than one entity. In fact, here God. is a little problem there. God in the Old Testament says he doesn't share his glory. No, that's right. Right. If you read verse 22 of the same chapter, just skip it for a little bit now. Read what verse 22 says for me, please. Yeah. Yep. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. Right. What's happening here with the glory? Is it being shared? Yes. But God says he doesn't share his glory. So anyone who shares his glory, it's not God. <laughs> According to the Old Testament reasoning and argument, God doesn't share his glory. You have Jesus who receives the glory and he shares it. That is not God. And, and the, my focus is on verse 3. Let's go to verse 3 where he says that they should know that you are the only true God. So he is addressing the Father who is one person as the only true God. So according to Jesus, the only true God is one person. What we must understand is that Jesus came into time and space and was limited by the, bo the body that he put on. Still he could have said the only true God is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. He could say that easily. That God is outside of time and space. Yeah. So God outside the father outside of time and space is not in a sinful body is he still right? the so father that, that was the separation that's why jesus is, is he still the father? To pray to the father is he still the father whether you bring time yes, in right son. so whether he's the father the time doesn't play a role in here he remains the father throughout yeah. so jesus is saying you the father are the only true god so if the father is the only true god according to jesus how many person is in god one person and that is the Father. If you study with the Unitarian Christians, they will point to this verse is a verse in the Bible which totally refutes and debunks the understanding of a Trinitarian concept. Because Jesus is like saying from the horse's mouth. He himself is saying, the only true God is the Father who is one person, not three persons. So now we have a belief from the Jesus himself who he identifies the only true God is. And that's what we are saying, worship, worship one God who is one person. With God from the beginning, what kind of being would Jesus be? And if He created everything, people misunderstood what He misunderstood what, is he, what he is. Be, going to be God. He was He was the Logos. Logos in the Greek means the mind of God, the mind of God. So God has a mind. That's according to the Bible. That's what God is. It's not a separate God. So when you say God is sitting and someone standing, that's separate gods compared to what John one was saying. When God has knowledge, it's not a separate God. When God has love, it's not a separate God. When God says, I forgive you, I'm forgiving, it's not a separate God. People have this misunderstanding where they separate the attributes of God and make it into separate gods. The love of God becomes a person. They aren't separate gods. I don't believe The speech of God. Okay. The speech of God. Is the speech of God a different God? Is the mercy of God a different God? Jesus... No, he is the Logos. The Logos is the speech of God, the mind of God, according to the Bible. But Jesus is in his glorified body, okay? So he was That's where the problem is. You are saying these attribute... No, we understand what John is trying to do. He personifies an attribute. If I told you the mercy of God became a woman, the daughter of God, how would you feel? If I said the justice of God became a brother of God in a human flesh, it doesn't make sense to personify the attributes of God and making into some other divine beings. God is God with his attributes. But Jesus Christ is sitting at the right hand of God, interceding for all those who will be saved. You know, you can intellectualize things as much as you want, but God's word is simple. He sent his son to die for humanity. I know what I was like before I received the spirit of God. I know. And there was nothing holy about me, trust me. I know, that's all the and case, always the case. Completely changed, but only through this is always the case. Spirit of God. This is always the case. Okay. Christians come with experience when they had a very bad personality beforehand. They were very no, bad. No, 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 sorry. I didn't have a really bad personality. But you were bad, right? You were bad. I was born into sin, so my mindset was against God and it focused mm. on things that were not... Did you commit any murder before you received this um, second 
I'm Lord said if you had hatred in your heart, mm -hmm. then it's akin to murder. Right. Did you actually murder someone? Did you actually murder someone? Right. So basically, what is this transformation? The transformation is you've just adopted a sort of belief system in which you have ascribed a partner to God. No, and in the Quran, sorry. in the Quran, in the Quran, Allah says, the heaven and the earth is about to asunder. Rift asunder because people are at attribute a partner to God, a son to God. It is what? It's a new creation in Christ. It's a new birth. It's the power of God living within an individual. God communicates through his Holy Spirit. So you know things that you didn't know. And when you get guidance and you obey those things, though it doesn't work necessarily that well with your uh, rational mind, you understand it. When you obey, wonderful things happen. Healing happens through the Spirit of God. Deliverance happens through the Spirit of God. And yes, boy, do we need deliverance today. There are evils in this nation that are going on that would make most people's toes curl, all right? And even like terrible things with child abuse, absolutely shocking things that go to the highest level with child abuse. There are Christians out there that are in the battle. And You mean the priests who are doing the child abuse? Oh, I thank you for spirit. bringing this up. No, I thank you. Me, no, no, I'm, I'm thanking you for bringing the priests the abusing the child. All those priests were abusing the child. I thank you for bringing this to your attention. Very good. The priest should places. stop abusing children. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this up. Thank you very much indeed. Stop 